happy peak week, you guys. We are one, two, three, three days out for my first show 2022. It's Wednesday. I just woke up and I just took my check-in photos to my coach. Feeling crazy good. I could not be upset with how we're looking today. And so with that in mind, after I checked in with my coach yesterday, he advised that we try to stay as conservative as possible through this peak week not be too aggressive with the carbs because we are at a very good place with leanness, staying tight. I see more lines this morning than I did yesterday, which is great. So that's a clear sign to me that we are filling out. I've been focusing really hard on intentionally getting blood flow into the muscles when I've done my training sessions this week and honestly just been staying present in every single moment that I've been given how I can control the moment that's in front of me, making sure that I am staying on top of what I need to get done. And that so far has been working up to this point, so we're just gonna continue on with that throughout the rest of the week. So I'm starting this video on Wednesday. I had a couple busy days the last few days, so I really didn't have time to um, film, but we have a lot of stuff going on today. So I have client sessions today. I have a workout that's going into this video. Tomorrow is going to be a full day of eating, and then Friday will be all about um, checking in for the show. The show is only 10 minutes away from me, so I don't even need to leave my home. I can just stay here, which is great and it's going to be a great week. So I hope that you enjoy this video. We're gonna get started by having my first meal of the day and of course some coffee. Let's go and do this. Fewer things look sexier than a fresh tub of peanut butter. Look at that pretty thing. Breakfast is the same thing I always have. Two rice cakes with peanut butter. This is the one from Target. This is the only one that I get and the only one you guys should ever get and sugar-free jelly, and then I always have yogurt. This is the yogurt I've been having lately as well. This is too good. The vanilla, it's called too good because it's only two grams of sugar, but it's also 12 grams of protein and only three carbs. I think it's only too fat, but either way, this is what I always have for breakfast. And today we're going with cold brew. So I'm going with the stock cold brew coffee in the bright and mellow unsweetened. Okay, here is breakfast. I decided on going with the caramel corn ones instead just because I have the carbs and they taste better. Here is the yogurt, my PB&J, and then my cup of cold brew coffee. Um, we're taking out any dairy related products as of today, so no creamers, but this is with um, like sugar-free caramel syrup in here, just a little bit, and then a packet of stevia. My stomach never reacts to anything that is with um, stevia or anything like that, so I'm only keeping it like to a minimum. This is meal number one for today. Hello friends, so I'm now checking in. I just pulled up to a client's um, home. I'm going to train them. And then I have another client um, at Optimum Gym at 11.45. And then I'm sticking around to hit glutes with my teammate Becky. This morning I already had two virtual clients as well. Since the last clip, I edited and uploaded a new YouTube video. That is my back-to-back -back full days of eating from last weekend. So go check that out if you haven't yet. And I've also um, eaten a couple of meals already. Today is going to be very very, very rice cake, deli turkey focused because that's just what my body's responding well to. But no, we're not having a full day of eating technically today. Today's gonna be more um, workout focused. I feel like to touch a little bit about, about like how this prep is different from last prep because I gotten a lot of questions of like, why has my body composition changed so significantly? So I feel like I'll touch a little bit on that a little later. And then tomorrow we'll be more focused on full day of eating and Friday we'll just be getting ready for the show and taking you through what putting my own tan looks like, all that good stuff. Of course, you know, it's not over until it's over. We still have three days to go and anything can happen, but you know, keeping the course, staying good, staying in a positive mindset, literally taking it one moment at a time has been, I think, my biggest success so far. During my workout, I'm having my recharge um, in here, grape to sip on through my workout by Legion. Jojo saves you 20% off your first ever order. No, I have not taken creatine out of my routine the only supplement I'm refraining from having is anything that could contains yohimbine, but I've kept in my core hard, my core bollock, my core load, and my um, legion recharge. Something I could also touch on a little bit too if that's of interest to you, but um, I'm going to go train my client now and then I will see you guys when I train legs at Optimum. Okay, can you join me for a oh. workout today? We're hitting glutes. Um, I let Cole know actually in my check-in that we were hitting glutes and he was like, oh, okay. we're owning that gym. I was like, yes, we very well might. She was so sweet enough 
I will show you guys later, but she uh, brought me a little treat for Peak Week. And we're gonna be here for glutes, so first we're gonna start off with that machine. If you guys don't have it, I feel sorry for you. It is so great for your glutes. I tried it. Oh, we're gonna put her on that now then. getting the fresh me just coming out of the shower wet hair I've already started prepping my skin for my tan so I'm just trying to refrain from having anything really on my face and having my body at this point using no soaps other than just like dove soap nothing scented because I don't want to risk having my skin look funky when I go to apply the tan but also because I finally get some downtime a little bit before my last client of the day to share about what I feel has been different with this prep I've had some construction going on in my apartment so there's never a time for me to film during the day during the week because I, there's a bunch of men that are just hammering away and drilling at the walls and there's just never a time for me to properly film film which is why I haven't really vlogged so much here at home but now we have some time where we can sit down and kind of do this so a big question that I've gotten this prep so far from my stories on Instagram and just my posts in general is how was I able to really change the way that my waist appeared um, I'll put two photos here for reference the biggest change that has happened for my physique has been my waist size and I personally attribute that to focusing a lot more on core training using more of a weightlifting belt when I do heavier lifts really focusing on my digestion and steering away from any kinds of foods that would really inflame my digestion my gut make me not comfortable at all whatsoever Pro staying properly hydrated and getting a lot of sleep so all of those might seem very simple, but I feel like with the consistency of all of those things, that is how I've really come to shape my physique essentially. I've also really hammered away at my uh, back and shoulders, and so I feel like that has contributed a lot more to building even more of my shape. But I really feel like all of those things have been why I have noticed a huge transformation and improvement in my waist. And so for core training, I don't train abs um, in terms of like crunches or sit-ups or hanging leg raises or any of those things. I train core through wearing a lifting belt whenever I'm doing heavy compound lifts, really focusing on bracing and breathing into my belly when I'm doing my squats, my deadlifts, anything like that, overhead presses. But focusing a lot more on anti-extension, anti-rotation, anti-lateral flexion, anti-flexion movements that really focus on strengthening the core. And if you don't know what that means, um, maybe that's something I'll kind of make a video on a little bit later. Like what are some great exercises to work towards that? Drop a comment down below if that's of interest to you. Um, or, you know, do some research on what exactly that means. But all of those have been true to how I've strengthened and shaped my core. Because a Apart from like how the physical difference you can see in my waist, I notice a huge difference in how my core strength is. My core is so much stronger than it used to be. Planks are longer. I'm able to hold heavier weight in front of me. Barbell back squats feel smoother. I'm hitting PRs more often in my squats. And then just focusing on my digestion. I don't eat out 
like ever anymore. Um, that has been something I've noticed in the past that when I was really inflamed and constantly bloated, I was eating out a lot and I wasn't eating at home more often. And ever since my last show at the end of July, I have focused so much more on eating more of the same kinds of foods day in and day out because of digestive predictability. There's nothing that I hate more than feeling so uncomfortable after eating a meal. And I know that has to do with what I eat and my food choices essentially. And I hate feeling that way because it makes me feel sluggish. It makes me feel cr like crap. It doesn't, it affects my, my mental state essentially. Like if I'm not feeling good mentally about my body because your brain, your gut is like a second brain, right? So if this isn't feeling good, this is not gonna feel good. And so I pay attention to that and I eat more or less the same kinds of foods every day, like the same things that you see me eat during prep because that has always worked for me. And not to say that I don't go and like eat fun things, but like I'm not going to Chipotle every day and I'm not like getting Starbucks every day and having breakfast out. Like I am eating my meals from home, getting more quality sleep. You know, a lot of people I know are like, oh, I barely get any sleep. Sleep is a huge priority for me. I refuse to get less than seven to eight, seven to eight hours of sleep. And right now I'm maybe not really hitting that as much because I'm so lean right now. My body, when you get lean, like your body doesn't really want to, to stay asleep for so long. So it's like the only exception, but proper rest and recovery have also been huge for me, reducing my inflammation in my body. And you know, ever since my last prep really focused on how I could make improvements coming into my next season. I knew I wanted to come into my next show looking different. You truly can make serious improvements in your physique if you really focus on the goal, focus on what it is you're trying to achieve and just stay consistent. A little bit each day truly does add up. I cannot emphasize that enough. All of those I kind of really feel are why I'm in this place now. I'm not feeling sluggish. I'm not feeling bloated. I'm not feeling uncomfortable. I am able to feel more comfortable in my body even more so than I did before because I took the time to truly take care of myself. This has been the best prep I've had so far. And it makes me so, so excited because the ultimate goal is for me to turn pro. People might think that there's a shelf life to being a competitor, but there's really not. Like there are so many masters competitors out there in the bikini division, like women competing in their forties. And that just goes to show that if you take care of yourself and your body, there is longevity in this sort of thing. So that was all I wanted to talk about in this part of the video. So next time that I check in with you guys will be tomorrow for a full day of eating. Good morning and happy two days out. It is around 8.30 right now. Um, I've been up for a few hours since like 5.15. I had a client this morning at 6 a.m. I had a virtual client at 7.30. Um, I'm about to hop on another call with a client and then I have a couple of clients later on this evening. So a little bit of a busier work day for me today, but. I get to do it all from home. So I'm in a much more relaxed state of just chilling, being from home. There is construction going on outside, but um, it's supposed to rain later on today. So hopefully they're not around so I can film and you guys don't have to hear hammering constantly behind the walls. But um, I already had breakfast today. So we're off to a really great start with today's version of full day of eating, but it's the same thing you guys have seen with breakfast all the time, nothing new. It's always just like my yogurt, my PB&J rice cakes, and that's really it. I feel like I do, however, wanna make like an egg white omelet of some kind. I need to run to the store and get some more things. Um, send in my check-ins to coach, and we have some inflammation that's going on in, in the lower half because of training, but my muscles feel really, like my muscles are super full today, but in a good way. Um, so I feel like with us being two days out, that gives us enough time to really bring down um, any water retention from that. I still am super tight all over. So the thing with bikini is that it's not a who comes in the most shredded contest, right? It's all about symmetry and balance. And um, you want to have girls that show up with full muscles and looking very feminine. So I feel like we're in that neighborhood. If we continue to do what we're doing with like staying hydrated, I think I'm going to take an Epsom salt bath later today. Cardio does my body wonders. Like my body feels so good after it sweats. Um, so I'm going to do that. The protocol was to bump, bump up the cardio to 45 minutes today instead of the 20. And I honestly feel like that would be really good for me. So so that is the plan so far. I'm gonna go ahead and make some egg whites real quick and it's nothing really fancy, but I'll still show you guys what that looks like.
Okay, so it is now 9.30 as you guys can hear. Construction is going on out there, but it's not too bad. I think they're on the other side of the building right now, but um, I'm gonna have some cold brew coffee because I'm actually feeling pretty sleepy. It's really strange, but I need to go do a little bit of some upper body lift and sweat out a bunch of fluid for this cardio. Um, so I'm gonna layer up after I eat this, but I'm going to have four egg whites and I'm gonna have another bit of um, the PB&J rice cakes, but I'm gonna use to caramel rice cakes this time. Okay, and so while I'm getting my egg whites ready to cook, I just decided to come into my bathroom and play with my hair extensions. These are fake hair extensions that I literally got from Amazon. Um, they probably had like thousands of four and a half star reviews, so I decided why the heck not all of the reviews um, looked pretty great and so far it feels really nice and smooth some of the negative reviews said something about how like easily it tangles but I haven't really had this issue yet they are clip-ons so you can see here that these will clip onto the top of my head and so I just decided to play around with trying um, that out so you could see that all this is the extensions part and I'm actually pretty excited because it matches the same color as my hair. Like you can kind of see that it all blends together. So just to give an idea, this is what the length looks like. Of course, it's gonna be different when it's straightened, but um, this was something I, I kind of lacked in my last packages. Um, last year, I didn't bother about getting hair extensions, but I kind of feel like I needed some length to just give more to my overall package. Meanwhile, currently in Florida, Is now 1 30 I just completed my 45 minutes of cardio that my coach prescribed to me um, and I did like a quick little upper body lift just to get some blood flow into the muscles and that 45 minutes was like exactly what I needed I had some very fleece lined joggers on and I had layers on and just to get that sweat as you can see it helped me a lot I'm going to have another meal I'm going to have some asparagus I'm gonna have egg whites and then I'm gonna have some lightly salted rice cakes and just keep it keep it very um, simple. My next step on the agenda is now I'm going to go have a meal. I'm going to have an Epsom salt bath and now I have to do a full body shave. Tonight I'm going to put on my first layer of tan. Um, a new client call at 4.30 and then I have two virtual clients 5.30 and 7. So I'm staying at home all day today which has been really great for me mentally. We will see how this weekend goes of course but until then we will continue to go through it. Tomorrow check-ins are for between I think between 5 and 7 p.m. or 6 and 7 p.m. I think the last stuff for me to do is just I have to do a very quick lift I'll probably come back down here to my apartment gym and do that. Cardio, not sure what my car my coach is gonna tell me for cardio. Maybe we'll do like another session like this just to replete, um, replicate this feeling that I have now or he'll cut it back to 15 minutes. I don't know. It, I guess it will depend on how we're looking tomorrow morning for check-ins. But that is the update for right now. So I'll show you what the next meal is gonna be. hours later and now I have applied my first layer of tan last time I um, checked in with you guys I think I was eating like my last meal um, I decided that I wanted my last meal of the day to be around like 6 p.m. so I just applied this to um, my skin for those of you that were here for the last show I did the do-it-yourself pro tan kit for the first time ever but it was like the travel size because my show was in dc this definitely was a much cleaner experience this time around um this one that you can see has like the nasal to spray and they give you the little like um tanning pads that you can self-apply it the shade i just put on now is the overnight competition this is the base coat Last time I did the mix of the base coat and the super dark, but I feel like this will be okay for now. I also am gonna to have to apply this the day of. This is the instant competition coat. So this is the color that you put on like the morning of. It says it's a dark mahogany bronzing mousse. But tomorrow I have to rinse off a layer and then reapply a second one. Um, so this is going to be, you can already see it's kind of like starting to set in. It's a little bit darker than my face, but if you guys are looking to save money, 
I would recommend getting the do-it-yourself products um, from ProTan because it's very simple. There's enough bottle, like there's enough product in here to last me for my next show. Wanted to just check in on that. We got the tan situation taken care of. So I'm going to end the vlog for today here and then I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. The show is tomorrow and as you can see, I am now a tanned human apart from my face that'll get taken care of tomorrow i have already done some cardio this morning we're going to see in terms of carbs what my coach says because usually like the day before show i have like up to 200 grams of carbs but i feel like the last time i did that i kind of spilled over a little bit i wasn't as tight on stage and i really want to avoid that at all costs not really quite sure why maybe it just has something to do with my brain knows that show day is coming, so I get a little nervous. I don't know, I don't know what it is, it's very weird, but I'm just trying to see what works, you know? Overall, I feel okay. Um, you know, I, I feel pretty strongly about my overall look today um, from my check-ins. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go get in my last lift, work on hitting all of the muscles, blood flow into the um, glutes, back, shoulders, nothing crazy the goal is not to get sore the goal is just to get a nice little pump going keeping myself relaxed and focused is the goal that's really all that we're going to be doing today so or one day out guys last lift of this prep is done lighting is not the best this is everything that i can do at this point you know you have all the people in the gym that tell you oh my god you look amazing you're gonna do so well and i know that i look great been telling people I've significantly beat my package and like here's a comparison also of like what I looked like a year ago um, with my upper body so you can't say that I didn't take the judge's word and put in work okay so like you can't tell me that I didn't put in work because I did because here's proof that shows me that I do have the work ethic to do well in this sport and that ends up fueling my mental toughness for on the days when you feel tired on the days that you feel like you can't keep going you know you look back on your progress and when you see that you really have made those changes that pushes you to keep on moving forward and I am I was feeling a little nervous this morning but now I think as we're getting closer I'm actually really looking forward to being on stage tomorrow um I think all I need to have need to do left is I need to go quickly run by the grocery store get some last minute um things for show day tomorrow and yeah so last workout is done you guys it is 5 50 we've just pulled into the host hotel i'm just waiting for my client alex to get here she just drove in from boca raton so i'm just sitting here waiting for her to arrive she's going to be doing a show in september so i figured it would be a good opportunity for her to see what check-ins look like and um yeah coach got back to me and said to do um like about 30 minutes of walking before i go to bed because cardio seems to be helping me and i agree just to continue to have myself feel physically you know in check and then we're going to just relax and keep our feet up for the rest of the night so let's go in and check in hi, hi. oh my god this is my beautiful client it's our first time officially meeting hi. number 44 tomorrow morning hey guys since i last checked in with you i went on like a very light 30 minute walk around my apartment building that's why i'm wearing this hoodie i'm feeling a little toasty now so i put on the ac in my apartment I am now packing everything that I need food-wise, and then I'm packing everything that I need um, tomorrow too. So food-wise, here's the first thing. Food-wise, we have the lightly salted rice cakes. We have the deli turkey. We have the yogurt that's gonna be part of my first meal of the day with peanut butter and um, Himalayan sea salt. And we can't forget the jelly. And then for my energy of choice tomorrow, I'm gonna be sipping on this slowly through the morning. This is the non-carbonated Celsius, the peach mango green tea. I'm gonna sip on that as I get my makeup done. Or pickles, so I have two options here. The hamburger dill and the maple bourbon. Oh, guys, this is, a, this, this, flavor is it okay if you have a walmart i think a super walmart this is the sam's choice brand maybe even at like sam's club the maple bourbon pickle chips i cannot emphasize enough how incredible these taste 
Ooh, I think I'm actually gonna pump up with this because they have like sugar and salt. That might be pretty good for me actually, so I'm gonna have that. And then I also picked up um, two Gatorade Zeros. This is the Glacier Freeze and then the Berry just for some fluid with sodium as well. You guys have will have already seen my suit by this point, so here she is. She's gorgeous. This is some of the stuff that they gave in the goodie bag. They have some pump formula, chocolate thunder, protein. We have two tanks and a shirt. This is my show day robe by Angel Competition Bikinis. It has my name on the back, super gorgeous. So I'm gonna be wearing this along with my pants I'm wearing right now. Of course, I have to have this guy. This part I'm actually really excited about. So Angel was so kind enough to give me jewelry that actually matched the color of my suit. Here are my earrings, you guys. Aren't those gorgeous? They gave me a matching bracelet, another matching bracelet, a big ass matching ring, look at that thing. And then we have like a little smaller ring. So that's my jewelry for tomorrow. Here are my shoes, we can't forget those guys. And then I'm gonna be packing um, my Pro Tan. This guy I'm actually gonna be putting on tomorrow morning. This is the top coat that goes on tomorrow morning. I'm actually gonna put on another layer of this now before I go to bed. And now that it is um, nine o'clock, I think I'm going to call it here for tonight. I am going to um, settle in. I'm going to have another small meal, like really a snack of um, two rice cakes with deli turkey before I go to bed. Just chill in bed until I go to sleep. I think I'm getting up at 5 a.m. tomorrow and then just grabbing my stuff and heading out the door because my nail, my um, makeup appointment is at six. So yeah, that is everything, you guys. Um, the hard work is done. We can now relax and get ready for show day tomorrow. I wanna to say thank you so much to everybody who has been watching along this journey this year. It's gonna be a great season, so let's kick it off. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video for show day. Bye.